character people I've been hearing placing him around like high tier uh, especially when he has his persona out oh yeah Arson definitely adds a, a little bit more to that character <laughs> okay down throw we're gonna see an up air conversion Ooh, even getting the drag down from the platform oh yeah so we know Shine already has some experience in this matchup just today uh, getting the, these nice aerial combos once again, and you got to watch out for him on these platforms, as we know. Oh, that's right, and Eon's approaching that percent. Is this the percent? Uh -oh, uh -oh, 70? Uh -oh. Oh, oh, Persona oh. actually saved Eon. Yeah, it popped him up ever so slightly. I wonder if that was what it was that got him out of the way of that ding-dong combo, man. Okay, well, Arson looking a lot more friendly to Eon than he was to Nico. Ooh, and I love the feedback that he pulled out right there to make sure that he did not get spiked. Oh, getting the parry. Now we see it. F tilt, but dash attack answering right back from Eon. Okay, downers at the ledge. Trapping with back airs too, okay. Yeah, my man. Ooh, I was gonna say, looking really trapped on the left side of the stage right here. And definitely, uh, Eon gonna put the uh, punctuation mark on that. Oh, but so is that boy with the back air gonna catch him on the left side. Yeah, it was so smart from Shine. As soon as that first back air connected onto Eon, he you, he burned his uh, directional air dodge just to keep him in the game. And as soon as he saw that, Shine just knew he, it was time to go in. Yeah, yeah. He has to catch him when you burn that for sure. So much lag on the end of it too. Mm -hmm. Okay, A Hawk connecting that. Of course, that does put dot damage. On to Shine. Ooh. Okay. Sharking with those up airs. Yeah, man, catching him on these platforms, but not really getting too much out of it. Oh, if he had caught that air dodge that time, though, definitely could have taken that stock so quick. That's right, just rolling away, but his back air does connect for Shine. Look at all these back airs coming out. And you see him mixing himself up in the air, doing a B reverse down B right there, just to move his positioning, because, uh, yeah, Eon is all over him. Yeah, but it looks like Eon's actually playing a little bit patient. He's yeah, looking definitely. for his opening, gets the down throw. But back air, not going to be able to connect. And you see these traps that he's setting up where if you dodge what he's go putting out with a forward air, he'll catch you on the ground with a back air or forward tilt. Okay, Tomahawk now connecting an up fair. Ooh, back air from the ledge. Ooh, almost catching the timing on that, but a great parry coming through from Shine. Popping him up. Oh, okay, almost catching the up tilt. Yeah, Eon's been doing a good job of just using fair one as a starter and converting off of it. Okay, back, back throw, throw. going to come through for sure. Now how's this man getting back on the ledge? Oh, I love the aggressive foot from underneath the ledge somehow connecting with Joker. But now the kill power is on deck. As Ooh, yeah, he's just kind of jumping around him, trying to space these back airs. No, he doesn't need too much more, but on the platform, can he get it? Yes, he can. Wow, and that's what Max Rage DK looks like. Only need 50% onto Joker. <laughs> yeah, but he's going to jump up there immediately and make sure he can take that stock out. DK, definitely not a character that has too many options uh, to avoid someone when they have invincibility, but all these back airs right now, catching him all the way up to 64%. Is that putting him at 64%? He's just, he's now at ding dong percent. Will that kill with Outrage? I'm pretty sure at 70%, oh, yeah. Oh, goodness. All right, but right now it's Joker who's uh, balancing him off of these platforms. Got him all the way up to 65%. Trying to space back with that. Yeah, getting, throwing out a little bit more side Bs, but a down That's B into really up smash. Me. That's real. I that was true. That. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you, you've seen that in Smash 4, but uh, does, was he a DK in Smash 4 as well? Uh, he did play DK. I mean, he played like 20 characters. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah, you can see some of that knowledge coming through and so much stuff that people have been like, oh yeah, that doesn't work in Ultimate. Uh, ask Shine if it works. He'll show you. Oh, for sure. I mean, Shine is definitely a, uh, a studious player. He, uh, you can definitely tell he's been putting a lot of time in the lab, even against Joker, who's like less than a week old. Right. He already knows percents in the windows from where he can, uh, abuse the Ding Dong and go for these kill confirms. Right, and it's looking great right now. We're going to go over here for game two. This is Kalos, right? That's right. This okay. is Kalos. Get All a right. couple of back airs. All right, a couple of up airs right here. Just going to juggle this man up to 27%. Put a e dash attack on to Eon. And ooh, okay. Yeah, you love the aggression right there. When you can see somebody's coming down after you, you can't just allow them to just down air you or something. You have to come in aggressive. And ooh, trying to re-grab him twice with the yoink move, man. Yeah, but Shine just very aware. He knows that Eon's going to try and go for those resets and just try and uh, rinse and repeat him. All right, he's got him trapped once again on the right side and going to get a quick spike in there. That's what we're talking about. You can't allow people to just come off stage against you aggressively. Got to put out a hitbox when you can, but DK can't always do that, man. Sometimes you just got to upbeat. That's right, down air. Down throw into back air. He's going to keep uh, Shine at the ledge. Ooh, tried to do a B reverse down B right there to mix up his landing, but Eon all over him. Oh, is that directional air dodge? He's still going to be able to make it back. Thankfully for, for Shine that uh, Arsene was gone, so the down air from from Joker no longer has a spike. No. <laughs> Unfortunate, man, with the quick drop down. It was so clean the way he dropped down through the platform to uh, get the ledge trump into a back air, but unfortunately able to uh, drop a little bit too low and get an SD there. Mm -hmm. You see, it 
see uh, Eon just fishing for those fair ones again, but Shine able to make it back on stage with the back air. Ooh, the double spot dodge. Make sure he doesn't get grabbed there. But, oh, another dumb into an up air this time. That's right, but Eon does have a full stock on to Shine. It's going to be very difficult to bring that back, especially as Ooh. the damage continues to rack up on Shine. Oh my god, and he waited that time. Make sure you can get that down tilt right there. Racking this boy up. Okay, great air dodge to avoid the ending of that combo. That's right. Just abusing that platform, putting so much damage on Chine. There's the fair one. It's a drag down, up air, up smash. My Ooh, man, these conversions. Around. All right, great back air right here. Got him trapped on the right side. How can he get back to the stage? Just going to do a stand, but that'll be a back air for you. Got to play this right. Nah, no, he had no choice but to go for an up B right there, and he is going to get hit by the back air and lose game two. All right, Lucina back air so strong. Eep, don't. You don't need your persona present in order for that kill, uh, that move to be a threat. Right, just a quick dagger in your face, like, not cool, man, not cool. <laughs> How many, he re-grabbed him three times with that. Oh my god. Oh, it felt like so much more, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, unfortunate for a character like DK especially, it's so huge, it's hard to miss. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, as you can see, Eon really abusing it. But we are going back to game, on game three, to Pokemon Stadium 2 which we have seen Shine have a lot of success on. Yeah, for sure. And definitely good on him to go for a counter pick where he feels comfortable and can utilize the platforms well. Oh, starting out with some, some Ooh, gunshots. All right. right on beat, too? Uh-oh, that's scary. He's got that, that mental momentum. Oh, yeah, and you see these up airs come out. Even getting dragged down up air, not able to convert, but still. All right, and he somehow got on the other side of those jabs. Oh, great grab right here. Going to be able to set him up for a couple of back airs on the platform. How is this man going to land? Okay, landing aggressively. Oh, Arsene's online. <laughs> I love how it randomly chooses to do that little cutscene thing. <laughs> I wonder if that ever like catches anyone off guard and like makes them flinch. Yeah, right? <laughs> Probably the first few times we saw it. Maybe oh. not now. All right, great nair right there. Oh, Ooh, timing that on Stan. Going to get the forward smash. Get him out of here. Yeah, now looking for the grab. I mean... Eon's still at the, almost at the percent where the window is going to be active. Really only needs like one pummel. Yeah, definitely. Oh, and you see him looking for it. He got that pivot grab on the oh. platform. There you go. No pummel needed, actually. <laughs> Just, I guess 66 is the number. Grab him from so far away, too. That pivot grab range, man. <laughs> yeah, those Smash 4 pivot grabs are insane. Right. <laughs> All right, going to get himself back on the stage. Just going to back air that uh, a hot 2. Not going to allow any extra damage to get on him. I mean, with the way that DK's haven't been playing, what he went through last game, he doesn't need extra damage. Yeah, no thanks. All right. Good jabs right here. Just knock him off the left side. Have this edge guard opportunity, of course. Catching him out of his jump with an up air. Oh, Whoa. and the wind-up punch. Young right. was playing uh, in Shine's face just a little bit. He probably wanted a little bit of room to breathe. Right. And you see him just getting these little hits where he can, not overextending for anything, because he knows he just has to rack him up to about 150 and then get that ledge guard. Yeah, but a very aggressive up B. And that's going to put Eon at 52. With Rage, that could be the number. Ooh. Oh, okay. He tried to mix up his recovery right there and get on safely, but unfortunately going to get back aired once again off the left, right side. Mm -hmm. Okay, down is going to connect into an up tilt. You see some big damage going to happen from Eon. On the up B, I'm not sure if he thought he had some kind of read there or miss input. Might have meant to side B. Yeah, it definitely had to be a missed input. The... Oh yeah, the there's no hitbox on it, so yeah, what's that going to do? <laughs> Alright. Well, all these spot dodges right here, man, avoiding these grabs, and you really have to, being that close to the platform, uh, knowing Shine's game plan. Mm, he's just looking for that, just to snatch him up, and Ooh. that'll be game over for Eon's second stock. Okay, there's the grab. You see the up throw? But, oh. oh! Unable to get it, but he does get that second up air. Not going to be high enough to uh, get the stock, though, unfortunately, for Shine. Second chance. Oh, he's just going to throw him. <laughs> Toss him into the be able to make it back? Zone. Nope, not from that far. Wow. wow. Okay. Very smart by Shine, knowing that a uh, character like Joker not going to be able to reach from there. Does take the stock. Mm -hmm, but we see an up air connected now. Oh, the, oh, okay, I thought it was reset time. Yeah, we're going to do the freaking yoinks three times again. But no, his turn to get the grab into a back air. Trying to go real low for that down air punish would have definitely taken it. Oh, especially with that amount of rage. Oh! <laughs> Oh, the hardest of reads! Yeah, this time, this time we're going to wait that out. We know you're going to air dodge. Sorry, young man. Down air spike into the blast zone. Game two will go to Shine. Shine. <laughs> Showing that he was, he wanted that down air. 
He found the down air. <laughs> he had to work a little bit harder, but you know what? Right. He did it. He got it. I he like the it. setup for it, too, because you saw the first time he tried to go for the down air. He's like, oh, okay, so this isn't the right positioning for it. But in my mind, I see what options you chose, though. I know how to set this up for the second time round. Just increasing the win rate he has on that stage. And, of course, Eon running it right back to Carlos. Wow. Okay, great stuff right there from Shine with the turnaround victory for Game 3. I mean, that's going to put Shine at advantage. Only needs one more game. But we are on Eon's counterpick, and he performed very well last time we were on Kalos. Right. Look at him right now, able to rack up all this damage. But of course, Shine being a player who knows, like, I'm playing DK. I'm going to eat, like, 70, and then it's my turn. That's true. Very, very true. And you know what? I think we're at 70. All right, his turn to play. <laughs> Got to dodge those Ahas, though. It's going to be hard to get in. Okay. Spot dodging around the jabs. Uh oh. oh. Yeah, he's trying to mix up the way he's getting on the stage with that down B right there, but almost costing him. Ooh, okay, trading that right there. Yeah, landing with the down air now. He just continues to just keep pushing Shine off stage. Ooh, okay, great air dodge right there. Because you saw Eon coming in for the punish. Ooh. Oh, Eha is just continuing to land on Shine. And the, do the damage over time is continuing to build up more and more and more. Right. Ooh, and he tried to go. Okay, this man is still living. Great fade back. Avoiding those backers right there, and now it's still trying to extend this lead here. Oh! oh but he got the, he got the, he got the stage oh, right. Oh, and he checked oh, the wall. He checked the wall. Okay. But look at all that damage he threw onto this man and tossed him into the blast zone at 174. I wasn't sure what if he was going to be able to make it back, even if he didn't go into the blast zone. <laughs> I mean, he had, he had a uh, arson out, but you know, Shine's just been on lock when it comes to just knowing where Eon's going to try and recover. Right. Just punished that man so hard for it, too. And sitting at 201, still living on this first stock. Oh, going for all the shield damage right there. Almost popping that thing. Yeah, My skittles man, for everyone. Right? And this guy's backing up a little bit now. Eon not wanting to lose that shield or take any more damage, but he really is. 209%. Okay, okay, let's okay. jump back here. Let's jump back here. Yeah, that, that'll take it. That'll take it. You gotta get that man out of here, because he was going crazy on him. He had such a lead, too, but now this thing's pretty much even. Right now, we almost have per, uh, Arson out. Persona uh, meter is almost filled. All right, and there it is. Going to make that oh even stronger with that and more residual damage on him, even though he's getting the upbeat hits. Just going for a more projectile game. Eon taking his time. Oh, even shooting him up a okay. bit. Okay, yeah, I do like that. You haven't really seen him utilize it too much. At a good range, he should be able to get a few free hits in there. Okay, Eon looked like he was Ooh. setting up, but S smash does connect. Actually, not enough to take DK's stock at the ledge. Right, and you saw uh, it's so good the way that Shine recovers. He'll do a little bit of fade back, maybe down B sometimes while he's out there, and then go for the up B real low to make sure he doesn't get punished. Mm -hmm. Using the down B just in case uh, Eon gets a little handsy and tries to go off stage. Right. My man going to have to play this right. Yeah, you saw him once again back up. Oh, and that put him in a reversal situation to be able to catch him. Possibly, ah, the up B not going to be able to reach from there. Shine just one stock away from advancing to grand fi uh, winners finals. Ooh, play trying to play this carefully here. Gets onto the ledge. Oh, oh, missing everything right now, but not taking any punishes for it at all. Wow, and using all the special moves, just weaving around Eon, making it very difficult to tell where he's going to land. Right, and try to get a read on him right there with a forward air. Oh, with the up air coming in, gonna rock him up a little bit more. Oh. So there he goes again with the B reverse down B. I love that. Yeah, we see another back throw. Now Shine finds himself off stage. These empty hops are making it so difficult to tell what Eon's actually looking for. You right. see it Ethel connect onto Eon. Well, he's going for these pivot down tilts, probably trying to set up a trip into a, a grab. Okay, we're actually approaching the percents where that side B is going to kill. <laughs> yeah, and the, all the residual damage racking up too. Oh, oh there's the pivot the grab ah! <laughs> That wasn't even a critical hit! It was... I'm not sure what, 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 what was the situation? Did he DI it wrong? Maybe he wasn't prepared for that to kill since there was no sparks or anything? Or did, was that just, you know, Shine knows his percentages? I think that's Shine knowing <laughs> his percentages. <laughs> yeah, that, that we ain't down Shine at all. That Shine. man, wow. Putting in work with the Kong. Yeah, from the reversal in game three. I mean, that's another situation where we just saw someone take over momentum with a spike like Wadi did before and Shine did as well. And now the two of them going to go up against each other. I mean, it's only fitting that these these two would meet up with the way that they've been really abusing their spikes. Right. And uh, some would say stealing them away. <laughs> stealing stock. Uh, I would say stealing. That look on Wadi's face says there stealing. There was definitely some theft. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You would think Joker would be the one stealing, but no, no, no. DK going to steal it right back from him. Wow. Unfortunate spot to be in right there. Yeah, I just, I can't <laughs> believe that. It actually came down to uh, special moves that just really killed at low percents. 
<laughs> he got him. What can you say? Yep, got Definitely him got sure. him. <laughs> got him. <laughs> Beautiful stuff GG. right there. Got him, got him. Yeah, so now the two of them are going to go up against each other, and it will, of course, be Wii Fit versus, uh, versus DK. Mm -hmm. So, all these two players set up. Thank you very much for joining us here at Wednesday, um, Monday, MSM. Mega Smash Mondays. I don't know, man. <laughs> we do so many tournaments. I don't know what day of the week it is anymore. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> all right. But we're out here at Mega Smash Mondays in Wait a uh, minute. Palmarata. He's Lucas. Oh. Yeah, so, okay. Oh, yeah, like you said, there's another character that he is uh, very well.